And is it all the way around? Yeah, I think it is. So I now have a funnel of sorts. Hopefully, if this motor comes out the centre now, I might have. Oh no, it's just coming straight out. How's that for you? I couldn't have planned that any better. Well, I could have. <laughs> I could have planned it so it didn't fall out the truck so many times, but there we go. What we got then? Let's see what the lights we've got inside here. This is obviously the cheapest motor off of eBay. And it packed up after a not short amount of time. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not going to come out. It wants to, but it's not quite. Here we go, it's coming. Okay, so, yeah. Basically, I think one of the chips has probably burnt out. But it's just a little diaphragm pump. And I've got some parts for other projects in there. Well, not least is a spring. Gonna come out. Oh. There's a seal there inside now. Don't know. Oh yeah, that looks like it's a one-way valve. Oh, okay, interesting. That's a, that's a one-way valve. And the other side might have a one-way valve in it. Let's have a look inside that. Nope, no valve in that side. Perfect. Because I want this to be a funnel. And a funnel that's going to be screwed to a wall. So I can now screw that to the wall. And that's a perfect little funnel. And then the, fl the fluid will drip out of that. Beautiful. Well, And that's what I do when I'm not making parts on the lathe which are engineering things. I mess about taking old broken things to pieces and making other things out of them. So I have a funnel. It's a bit dented, but where it's going it doesn't really matter. You may see this in a future video on the wall and you think, oh, that's that funnel he made. There you go. A funnel. Sweet. And we have another random project. It's not in neutral. It could be, there we go, it's in neutral now. So I've got a water butt. And it's come with these silly loose connections on it and I have some hose fittings this sort of thing quick release hose fittings and I suspect these will be some kind of pipe thread so I've measured them they're 14 threads per inch 784 so that's like 30 thou smaller than it needs to be that'll be fine so I'm going to put some 14 TPI threads on this plastic and then this will have a fitting which I can put a quick release hose lock onto it 
it should be watertight <laughs> hence this was leaking and the water bots inside very strange setup but it can't leak so I can have zero leakage from this thing okay so I've took the major diameter of 0.825 and I've uh, minus off the 785 what this is leaving me a 0 0.06 something and I've divided up by 2 and got 0 0.0335 thousandth of an inch the depth of cut should be 0 0.045 So I definitely got to go in point one. So ten thou is that? Yeah, I've got to go in ten thou. Probably twelve thou. I've got to go in. So they're going to be quite blunt threads, but we'll see how it goes. Those that are astute of you will notice that the compound is ninety degrees on. I'm not. I don't use stupid angles so I'm going to put a thousandth cut on that and we shall try it there on number two yeah, and that's just not deep enough is it eh? put that on there nicely and we'll come out from there remember what your setting was I was at two thousand Go back to your two and we will put on fly foul because it's plastic and we'll check see if that's 14 tpi so i've got the 14 tpi gauge here. i'm not sure if you can see any of the scratch marks there i'll zoom you in how's that because it'll fit the other way and we'll just see if that's 14 looks very 14 TPI to me so let's get some now I can gauge this I'm going to try this so I don't know let's not let's just do it standard keep it nice and standard Should be near enough right now. As usual, the estimation of what a thread should look like is way out. Turn, we'll put another five thou on that. And I think we'll try them at that. So, if it screws on at that, I shall be extremely happy. Oh, you're not going to see this. I was zoomed right in. Let's zoom back out again. wherever it is somewhere maybe I'll put it back in its place Let's get some of these swarthy bits off and see will that fit in there yes it will simple as that nope 
same whatever Okay, I'm going to take that whole slice in one depth of cut, I think. So we'll give it what I said for a start, 10 thou. And we'll go straight in at that. A zero mark. that should be that if it needs some more I'll get some more but I don't think it does I just brought it back to the same setting as before oh, hang on. like I say these threads aren't amazing oh yeah Proper tight that is. A bit too tight. That's alright. Cool. And can we see inside it now? I doubt it. Yeah, I'm up on the rubber. The threads are not great. I think I'm going to glue them on. Swarf in there. I don't know if that's going to be pretty good, damn good. This side is. That's in. It's going further than that. Way further than that. Yep, it's going further than that. These are tight, these are. That's going to be good. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Let me get one of these, one of these things for the other side. Once that's on, and tight because it's not tight yet, it's going to be really tight. Then I can screw that into there, and I've got a quick release on the water butt. Like this, cool. Job, another job done. 20 minutes work, done. We're in the bomb site of the building and into the garage. Let's say bomb site. Because of the way I've decided to build the garage. Anyhow, what we're looking at is wet floor. And we did have wet wood here and we did have dripping. Because the way I'm building the garage, the new roof that's going in, which you see up there, is only temporary. And the lovely concrete work which the gas board put in when they put the new gas pipe in. Anyway, there's the gutter still here on the lean to. Because the new roof will overhang the lean-to, basically the new roof will go up to the side of the house and the old lean-to will be like a storage cupboard inside the garage. Uh, so this gutter there, basically, runs the full length of the new temporary wall that's in there. And uh, that's the join in the centre. And unfortunately, when I was repairing my wind turbine, I clipped it slightly. And it didn't matter when it was outside, but it did drip. You couldn't tell because it was always raining. <laughs> um, when it was dripping, obviously, it was always raining. And you didn't really pay much attention to the wetness on the floor. And by the time the ground had dried up naturally, the drip had stopped, so you didn't see the patch. Well, as soon as the roof went on, you could see it. So I put a piece of... Uh, under concrete sheeted in there 
and made it into a funnel and then well it still wasn't repaired hence I've made a funnel a funnel in so the funnel can go into the funnel because that black plastic pipe just would not seal to the hose the hose had a slit in it it was ow the hose had a slit in it was open now it's like the top of the funnel went into it but it just wouldn't stay in there so now we've got this little funnel here dry as a bone only problem is is I've got this connector on here so I've got this here and by the way there's water uh, shall we get the water in there now oh yeah oh yeah there's water coming out of there now so there's water in the water but now it's, it's just much it's a bit wet but the fact is when the water butt's full if I just open it all I've got the same dilemma as what I had before I've just got water on the floor so I put a valve on it and a hose connector so I can click in but I've put a female connector on that end haven't I I need a male connector on that end <laughs> Right, you've just seen the problem I have. And I don't tend to clean the lathe up until I've finished a project, so I haven't finished the project yet, hence it's still dirty. Uh, somewhere in the middle of the project. Anyway, you saw the problem I have. I need a male connector, the female connector isn't going to work. So, there is a male connector and if you don't recognize what it is this collar oh you beauty this collar was there so that went on there i'm not going to push it all the way on like that and that went on there so as you can see now generally it was the sprayer end the cheap sprayer end that came with that set I might want to put some glasses on in case I get a piece of plastic fly off in my eye. I've got a new set of safety glasses out. Fully adjusted all these ones are. I feel like I'm being spoilt. Right, gears out. Don't want them. Put the gears in over. Yeah, we've got the gears in, haven't we? Because we're doing threading. fit that will be handy enough if it goes in does it go in yep okay so that's a decent leading chamfer now so really nice leading jumper. Yep. That's one 
default. And finish the parting off. Let's put it back into the hole again. Let's come in, touch, and come back a little bit, and that'll do. And that's it. Needs a bit of cleaning up. So we had a lot of water last night, as in rain, and I'm getting drier in here. So the modification has more than likely worked. Excellent. I have the unit out, so let's unscrew it, pull that end off. This side will need a dupe. Oh, I've just dropped it. Awesome! It's very slippy. This side will need a Jubilee clip, which should be about that size. Oh, I'll have to do this with uh, two hands. Yeah, one well, back in that off, that is for sure. And then that slides in. It's a bit loose, so let's see if it leaks. So, it is on. I'm trying to direct it down a little bit. And we're turning the tap on. Try and dribble. There we go, it's coming out. Right, so we have fluid. And there ain't much pressure, but... It don't seem to have a leak. I have more of a leak coming out of the tap. These taps are great, aren't they? <laughs> so I have more of a leak coming out. Yeah, the tap's definitely leaking. Awesome. Yeah. You know, like the little bracket, I think that was a handbrake cable stay for uh, maybe for the MR2. It might have been for the MR2, I can't remember. It was a handbrake cable stay for something, it had a rubber wash inside it, which I used for something else. Lots of recycled crap there, basically. So we have a test on the strain relief. Yeah, that's relieving the strain. <laughs> Bring the bucket underneath the tap so when it leaks, it. Uh... Okay, so water should be coming out. I can see the pipe moving. There must be water coming through it. There we go. It's coming. You can see the air. The grass blade is vibrating. Oh, yeah, there we go. We've got, we have hose power. I wonder how long that will last for. Sweet, that is. And the beep in is my light is about to turn off because the battery is charging. Everybody wants to go to the toilet now. Well, that's a reasonable amount, eh, isn't it? Fair rate for one day. Let's see how high we can get it before it stops working. Oh, it's stopping working now. Aside from the fact you might carry it on, the pressure's gone down. Yeah, stop working, turn it back down again. Then it comes back out again. Alright. Oh,